PCBs. Hello YouTube, Copper King Recycling with today's video on how I break down a fluorescent fixture and this is my process. It's pretty easy. I've gone ahead for the sake of video. Kind of done this a little bit ahead of time. And some other parts. This is one of my street scrapping scores. Number one thing you want to do before you do any of this is you want to look on here. See this label? Oh, you can't see it, YouTube, but it says no PCBs. Doesn't say that? Don't even mess with it. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this apart real quick, like. And I'll show you how I already done this ahead of time. Careful, these edges are sharp. Or can be, this one's alright. Just put this two off there. there we go. Get this out. This is just come right off. So go ahead and cut these off here. Let's see if we got copper here. Now I can see with my naked eye. That is copper in there. You take them apart, you strip those wires down. You get some nice looking wire here. It's nice looking copper wire. I'm not going to strip these down for the video. Because nobody wants to watch me strip wire for two hours. <laughs> as fun as I think it is. These just come right out. They're just folded in there. These little pieces are just usually, yeah, here we go. Just sitting in there, just come right out like so. Go ahead and take these wires off. Save this for another day. Oops. Save this for another day, I said. So I the scrap metal here. Shred bin. These are the uh, little connector pieces. The tube will sit like this. The tube in between them. Getting powered up. These ones have a paper back. Literally looks like it's just stapled on there. But if you take them apart, you get some nice brass in here. And if I do this, these usually come apart pretty easy. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Some nice brass there. Another piece. Oops. One piece of copper came out. Oh yeah, the wire. <laughs> you take these out, the wire will fall off usually. Let's see if I can get it from this side. There we go. A little easier. Got kind of cold out here. I'm breathing heavy. All right. Take this piece off. Come on, you. There we go. Another little piece of brass. There's my other piece of copper. So that's these little end pieces. There's a piece of metal here. I don't know if I can get that off. That looks like steel. It is. How do I know? Let's just see. Yeah, yeah, that's steel. Go ahead and take that out. Garbage. Cycling. Keep all that there. Now, for the sake of video, I went ahead and took one of these transformers and just took it apart. Now, they are pressed together mechanically and they are well put together. I mean, you can get in there with your screwdriver and really work at it, but for me, the easiest method was the old claw hammer and as you can see here oops as you can see here I've uh, beat the living out of this one but that's how I got it apart and I just kept well first I broke up all this mess that's inside here yeah I did that on the floor so I wouldn't get that everywhere but yeah this is no fun it's sticky 
don't breathe it, wear a mask. But yeah, I just beat the out of this, got that to all break up, and then I just started beating down these seams, concentrating on one end, and just beat the tar out of it until it came up. And then you get this nice, nice big old piece in here, full of copper, but it is covered in this malarkey. And then these coils are wrapped in paper also. So this is a nightmare. But this is the end piece here, these little end pieces. Then you get past this nightmare. Once you get it out of there, it's pretty easy. It comes apart fairly easy. I mean, this side just literally fell off. These are the two ends. This is the top, this is the bottom. Is that little doodad? And literally, this side I didn't even touch. So you can see how easy it will come off there. And I literally have done nothing to this part. I mean, it was all I could do to get that to stay together. And then I'll just, you know, set this in there. Get those off there with the hammer. But yeah, it takes some work. You can, I mean, look at that. That's after I cleaned it up. These things are a nightmare. But yeah, that's all. It's all going in the bin. Put my wires there. Take care of that one later. Yeah, so... You get past this part, and all that garbage, you get you do get a fair amount of wire out of it, but it is dirty, dirty. Worth it? Ah, uh, it was easy to get out. I mean, it wasn't that big of a struggle here. Flip this off so YouTube can see it a little better. I mean, ugh. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> you know, it was my first one. I got, I don't know, like five of these. Oh, look at that. It just comes right off. You can just wiggle this back and forth, and it will come off just like so. Everybody's. Good old banger. Well, anyways, yeah, you can see how I'm getting it to come up. I wonder if I can tap this. Here's my, here it is. Whoopsie. I wasn't been doing microwaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See this? So these are a lot easier to take apart than I thought. Huge mess, though. But just like that. Hoorah. Yeah, these things are a huge mess. Oh, that doesn't help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these will all come off here real nice and easy. Maybe. I don't know why I'm doing this one. Just get into it sometimes. It's the search for copper gold. You do the strangest thing. So, yeah. Yeah, this came apart really easy. But yeah, look at this. <laughs> See if I can even get this started. I don't even think I'll be able to get this started. This stuff is a nightmare. Let me see if I can stir it a little bit here. Careful when you're pointing the screwdriver towards your hand. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's in there. Definitely worth it. Well, you know, never never assume that that gold color is copper. You have to test everything nowadays. Looks like copper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, YouTube, but that is definitely copper. <laughs> So yeah, it's a huge mess. These are covered in this paper. So there's layer, copper, layer, copper, layer. It's just like that. And it's got this stuff all over it. But just make sure it says no PCBs right here on the label. And you should be okay. 
But yeah, you get some nice copper out of it. Some shred. Some brass. I don't know if it's worth it to some people. I don't know if I would willingly jump on the gun and go get another one. But you know, when you're looking for that copper, you make strange decisions. There we go. So if you're new to my channel, just remember to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. Copper King out.